with Sprint Dictation back again with another video. And today we have a, one of our first tactical reviews of the Premier League season. How Spurs beat City. How Nuno Espirito Santa, Santo outclassed Pep Guardiola or Didi. Anyway, let's find out in this video before we move on. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're going to be taking a surgical analysis into everything that happened on Sunday in this game. So stay tuned. So the first thing to look at was the formations. Now you can see the formations on the screen. Both teams played a 4-3-3 but it was not the same 4-3-3 it was more um, different for each side and we'll, we'll look at that throughout the course of the video Spurs played a 4-3-3 and they actually played Deli Alley um, basically in like a flat in the mid, in midfield 3 like a flat 3 along with Hoiberg and Skip and then they played Bergwijn Lucas Moura and Son up front and that front three was very very fluid we'll have a look at that throughout the video we'll put some things up on the screen so you can kind of tell exactly what was happening throughout the game now um, City went with a 4-3-3 but their 4-3-3 was a lot different in this situation it was more like a 4-1-4-1 of course we've analysed exactly how City play in transition building out from the back to start the game off they actually played this um, 3-2 um, at the back like, so Mendy moved in field as we analysed before and then you had the two three eights behind the three forwards um, and we'll look at again some of the things that were happening between Sterling and Grealish on the left hand side and Mahrez and Gundogan on the right and how Torres, Fernand Torres also operated but early doors C were dominating but you could tell and I'll put this on the screen now when C had the ball building out from the back Spurs were extremely extremely narrow and one of the reasons I can speculate as to why Nuno did this, but I can I know why he did this was because he didn't want to see to play out from the back and have the control of the possession or have it easy. So what you do is you just stop the ball going into their midfield too. And um, with when Mendy comes inside, you stop the ball getting there and you play very narrow. That means that they have to instead of um playing through the middle they have to play out wide so early doors Spurs were extremely extremely narrow as you can see on the screen Son Bergwijn and Lucas Moura were virtually blocking every passing lane into the midfield however they weren't pressing as well so they were kind of just sat there and it was difficult um, for C to play through that way so a lot of the C attacks came from their wide plays to begin with so what Pep did during the game he realised right there's two players in, in the midfield but they're not able to get the ball because they're very much surrounded by the front three who are very narrow so we have to stretch the game so what Pep did is he made Mendy and Cancelo play as traditional four packs or or wing backs and when he did that that meant that Fernandinho was now isolated um, in the midfield and C just put, played all of their attacks through the wide areas you can see again images of Mendy carrying the ball wide in the first half it meant that Mendy and Cancelo um, were almost in line with uh, Fernandinho ready to receive the ball in the space However, again, 
some of the perks of the way City play, they play on the front foot, so Grealish and Sterling rotated in the half spaces. Grealish played as essentially as an eight, as a free eight with Gundogan. However, Grealish was always the one that was trying to run with the ball. Um, because that's one of Grealish's strength is to run with the ball. So he was always trying to run with the ball into the space. And he won some a couple of free kicks early doors because of his threat. Um, I, w I thought one of them was actually a penalty. Um, but yeah, with Grealish was just very good in the in the eight. He didn't have a great game, but um, yeah, like he caused a couple of problems in the opening minutes. Um, and I just want to talk about the midfield three for Spurs now. Throughout the game, that midfield three made sure that they tracked the free eights. They tracked Grealish and Sterling. So um, Delhi would always attempt to block off Gundogan or run with him. And Hoiberg would do the same with Grealish to make sure that they don't create overloads in that situation. But there were a few times that did happen um, in, in the second half especially. And it was very, very good. Very, very good from, from Nuno to uh, identify that. Uh, making the central areas narrow was paramount. Making sure that they had to play out wide. But if they had to play out wide, that meant that they'd be using their eights a lot more. So you have to track the eight. So if you're going to block off the space into the midfield, you're going to have to expect the runners to um, basically go beyond you. So he had Heiberg and um, Delhi kind of tracking the, the two eights. And Skip was essentially kind of patrolling the area in front there, which was very, very important. Now, at times, because of the narrow, how narrow um, Spurs were, what happened was Delhi uh, sometimes got caught into, like, especially down the right, he got caught in kind of like to no man's land. Gundogan would sometimes make the run beyond him, which meant there was an overload on the right side. However, due to City's shape and how they set up the, the side, this meant basically that Spurs could break away with the three plays um, that they had, up, you know, that they've left up top. And they could basically create overloads. And you can see in the images that I put up now, there was just so much space every time Spurs broke. Because CE basically played with two at the back, three in midfield with the uh, four backs high and in line with Fernandinho, but when that was broken, they were basically playing against a, a pack two. Um, and that was great tactically from Nuno Espirito Santos, because it just meant that um, Spurs had a lot, a lot, a lot more dangerous whenever they attacked. And it meant that City were also very vulnerable, um, meaning that, you know, Spurs had a high chance of scoring, and in fact, that's how the goal came about. Um, that shows you that, you know, a lot of the things that Spurs did to try and affect the game worked because Spurs broke very quickly and uh, they basically had Spurs, um, City overloaded. They broke again with the three players up top, Bergwijn, Son and Mora, who were very, very fluid. They interchanged very, very well. And you can see some picks the ball up and hits it, but everything be, you know, before that was a lot of the things we've discussed tactically already. So Spurs won the game through the, you know, through the intent that they already had. With, and uh, it was just brilliant from Spurs. I think going forward, they're going to have to have different tactics, different ways of playing if they're gonna do similar things like they did today I think it would be a very good it'd be a very good season for them anyway guys
guys thank you very much for tuning in if you have found it enjoyable relaxing um knowledgeable hit the like button hit the subscribe button let me know if you want more of these types of videos but anyway guys thank you very much for tuning in and i will catch you